What's up guys, Jace Two Cents here back in my workshop and I'm going to be bringing you another video, one that's again straight from the Ask J archives that I get asked quite a bit. Um, this particular question, that's going to be about the fittings I use to make pipes pass through things that are solid, like through the floor, through the back of the case, whatever. So it's not going to be a very long video, it's not even going to be like a whole water cooling loop type of thing, it's just going to be like more like a water drop type of video, like a, just a droplet. Of video. Okay, that's bad. I thought that would, it sounded better in my head when I said that you know maybe it would be a joke. That was terrible. Gigabyte's Flex Display technology automatically detects and connects up to four displays for the best gaming experience in multi-display Ultra HD. Click the link in the description to find out more. I could have done this video a while back just using Skunk Works and showing you with it all put together like, oh yeah, that's a pass-through fitting. And I've done that before actually, um, but it just doesn't give you guys the same in-depth like knowledge of, of like, aha, that's how that works uh, when it's already all put together. So on Red Mist here, because it also uses the same type of fittings, I figured this would be the perfect opportunity to show you guys exactly how they go together and how they work. There are quite a few different versions of these. A lot of different brands make these. They're very, very simple actually in how they work. But I think once you guys see exactly how it all goes together and how it works, you're gonna kind of have a eureka, like an aha moment on that's how it works. Oh, man, it wasn't as hard as I thought it was gonna be because some people really overcomplicate the simple stuff. I'm one of them. Transition. So this is what the fitting looks like right here. It's very, very simple. It's nothing more than an inner and outer threaded barrel with a collar. And the, so obviously that keeps it from, you know, falling through whatever you're gonna set it on. It's uh, got a O-ring in there and that doesn't do anything for sealing fluid. That just holds the item in place. That way it doesn't spin because you do put a fitting on this end and this end. And which means the next point is you can see the inside of it here is threaded for G quarter thread, which is what pretty much most fittings are. There's also um, G three eights, I believe. Um, but yeah, anyway, we don't uh, we don't use G three eights. We pretty much all water cooling stuff is gonna be G quarter thread. But yeah, that's pretty much it. You have to drill a hole that's large enough for this side to you know sit down in there or in the back wall or wherever you're gonna put it. And then you put your other fittings, whether it's gonna be compression or angled. Uh, rotary, whatever, on either end. That way you can connect the tubes on both sides. And then you just lock it in place with this collar right here. And then again, the O-ring doesn't allow it uh, to move. It's like, okay, well then how do, you, how, do you, how do you drill that hole, Jay? Well, I personally use a step bit like this because it's got the perfect size on there. One of these steps on here is the perfect size, um, the three quarter, Right there, and this is a, just a generic one from like Harbor Freight. It gets the job done. It'll wear out quickly, but it gets the job done. But there's a quarter inch uh, step on there, which is perfect because if we take my caliper tool, which again, you can get this tool. This tool comes in so so handy. Again, if you live near Harbor Freight, this thing's like six bucks, a Harbor Freight. It's definitely worth it. Or maybe it's more like 14, but whatever. It's worth it if you do a lot of work. But if we measure the outer diameter here of the threads, you can see right there, it's a point seven, seven, nine, so just slightly larger, point, 0 0.78 ish. As you can see, this obviously depends on how much pressure I put against the caliper. But yeah, we're sitting at about three quarters of an inch there, just over, um, and for you that use millimeters, um, that's 19.8 millimeters. So yeah, you, but you have to keep in mind though, obviously you don't wanna drill the hole too big, otherwise this collar isn't going to uh, allow it to stay. It's gonna just fall through the hole. I did that on Skunk Works. Oops, anyway, I had to get a new mid plate. But you can see that the outer diameter of the collar is 25 millimeters or 0.98, just under one inch. So yeah, it's very, very simple. So what I'm gonna do now, just so you guys can see this in practice, I'm gonna go ahead, because these are chrome ones that are gonna, or nickel plated ones that are gonna be going in Skunk, or Red Mist, I keep saying Skunk Works, Red Mist, um, so that you can see how these work in practical application with the fittings and stuff. Let's go ahead and install this right now. So obviously on Red Mist, I'm using these fittings here to pass through for the reservoirs, as well as the um, return line, or no, actually that's the feed line for the GPUs. And if we look on the bottom side, you can see, sorry for the shakiness, this is handheld, but you can see right there, that is where they pass through. Um, so we just put fittings on both ends 
and then there we go, we, off we go to the races and you can see there's our pumps right there and we have one going into the pump and then the pumps go out, there's the drains and all that stuff. We've got to actually, I'll probably change that pump set up a little bit on this build. Um, and then it looks really thick because I have this acrylic sheet right here that I custom cut to give them kind of a nice reflectance here so the light bounces really nice. Even though light bounces on the white case already, I thought the acrylic looked really good. And then also since his case has the cutouts, as you can see there for the fans, it just made it look uh, a whole lot better, I think, this way. So you can kind of see right here my step butt and where it stopped right there at uh, three quarters. It's actually just in between three quarters and seven eighths because remember what I showed you with the caliper is that it's slightly bigger. Um, it's okay if you go just a little bit bigger because you do have that big locking collar. But installing it really is nothing more than just putting it in the hole, right? It's kind of like how babies are made. You just got to put it in the hole, wiggle around a little bit, and then things happen. So yeah, just tighten down the collar. Now this is a little bit thicker because I'm using the acrylic on here, but again, if you're just using a piece of you know, metal, it's not that big of a deal. That's it. Now, if you're gonna be doing something load bearing like on the back wall, you'll wanna keep in mind, you want strength, obviously. Um, acrylic wouldn't be a great you know, way of supporting something, but again, this is not actually supporting anything. But do you see how easily that went together? And then if you had, let's just say this is a old Alpha Cool fitting or whatever that I have on here. So let's say then if you wanted to put a 45 on there, there you go. There's your 45 and you just tighten that down the same way you would any other fitting. And then as you can see, it wants to turn a little bit on you. That's why I make sure that collar is nice and tight. And then there you go. So there's your fitting coming off of there. It's literally just that easy. And then you do the same thing for the bottom. So let's go ahead and do the other two here. So that's it. Nice, short, easy video finally answering the question about how to pass you know, tubes through solid surfaces. Uh, you can get really creative with it. I mean, you could put them in the back wall here and have tubings run, you know, tubing run between the back wall of the computer into the back. As long as you have enough room for fittings on both sides, whether it be a 90 or a straight or a bend or whatever, soft tubing, um, then you can, you can really just let your creativity go crazy and really open up a whole new set of doors when it comes to custom water cooling without having to, you know, really just kind of conform to the case. You can force the case to conform to you by using those simple fittings. Now, finding them on the websites, I think that's the part people have problems with is they don't know what they're called. Well, every company kind of calls it something different. You can find pass-through fittings, but I think more commonly than not, you'll find them called bulkhead fittings. And they do come in different lengths. Every brand's a little bit different. Bits Power tend to be the shortest. Um, let's see, Alpha Cool makes some, but they're even longer. So if you're going through thicker material or you need more distance, then you can even get ones that are up to like an inch and a half or even two inches long. But that's it. Keep it simple, guys. Don't overcomplicate it. Uh, go out, get your bulkhead fittings, and start coming up with some custom crap like what you've got going on behind me right here. Anyway, guys, uh, Red Mist or Red Skunk or Skunk Mist or whatever we're going to call it now because those two computers really are, quite honestly, brothers. Uh, it's going to continue this week, so we're going to do some more building, and we are going to uh, hopefully get this thing done here as soon as possible. And apparently, I have sliced the shit out of myself again. How is it that I'm always... Look at this. Look what I did this time. This time I did it on the case. Look at this. Where's the focus? Look at that. Look at what I did. Why do I... I can work on the car and never cut myself. I can work on a computer and slice the shit out of myself. Anyway, guys, I'm sure that's made some of you happy that I've cut myself and I'm now bleeding. All right, time to go. See you in the next one.